Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss one very important pattern related to our serverless architecture. Okay, and the problem statement is like you can consider like this way. Suppose I want to store all product related information for my product line in a DynamoDB table. Okay, like if you consider my product is book. Then what is the book name? Who is the author of that book? What is the price? What is the description? And one particular front image, front page image. These kind of informations I want to store in DynamoDB. Okay, so that different applications can read from that, right? Now, what is the problem in this approach? That is, generally we can use DynamoDB, but one particular item or one particular row in DynamoDB table should have maximum size. As 400 kilobyte, okay. And suppose you want to store some blob data that can be image, video, etc. The problem will be most of the time that particular binary data volume will exceed 400 kilobyte, and that time you cannot store them in DynamoDB. So, what alternate approach you can follow? That is, those bigger data that can be image, video, or any blob data you can store in S3. And that S3 URL you can store in DynamoDB along with other metadata information related to that particular blob object. Okay, like here in this particular context, if my product line is books, then book name, book author, book price, book description, and the front page image of the book which is stored in S3, that S3 URL we can put in this column. And that way the overall size obviously will not exceed more than 400 kilobyte and we can safely use DynamoDB, right? So related to that only architecture what I am going to discuss today in this particular video. It is very simple. We will be using API Gateway. We will be exposing our API to the client application. And client will be uploading the image using that. That API Gateway basically hit Lambda. That Lambda will write the image part in the S3. And then the metadata it will write in DynamoDB. As simple as that. Okay. Right. So without any further delay, let's directly start our lab experiment. So first what I will do. I will create. A particular S3 bucket okay and I will show this step by step so here I will create the bucket first bucket name suppose I am giving logka you can give any name as per your wish here I will create the bucket okay as of now I want to create that particular bucket public so I can show you the power of URL also so here what I will do I will give this particular bucket permission okay which will basically allow all the users to read the S3 object from this bucket. Okay, so what I will do, I will go to this particular bucket, I will go to permission section, I will edit the public access. I don't want to block any public access, so I will save the changes. And then here, what I will do, I will write just confirm. Okay, that is the first step what we have done. And then here, what we have to do, we have to update the bucket policy also so that any object from this particular bucket can be accessed from anywhere. Okay, as simple as that. And here we will save the changes. Okay, that is the first step, right? So I can go back to object. Currently, no object is there. And now, what I am doing here is my lambda code. Very simple. First, we are importing JSON because JSON dot terms, JSON dot loads for different kind of purpose. We might need that. Then here, base sixty four we are importing. Okay, why we are importing? Like most of the time via network when you are sending some image, video or text file, this kind of blob object, then first it is encoded with base64 method and that encoded version we send via network and then when we catch that data in the destination section, then we decode that and then we store that, right? So for encoding, decoding, we need base64. Then UUID, we are importing if we need to generate unique identifier for that and then date time. When the object is created, that we want to store. And then here, sometimes we might need to properly format the URL whenever we get the URL via S3 event, then sometimes the space is replaced with plus or percentage. So to avoid or to re reprocess the URLs, we can use this particular Python module and import time, okay, if we require. Then here what we are doing, we are creating the GoTo3 client for S3 as well as our DynamoDB table which is having the name product info storer okay so here i will create the dynamodb table simultaneously so here what i will do i will go to aws management console and then here i will go to dynamodb and here i will go to create table table name i'll be putting here okay and what will be the key so the key name i want to store the book name 
ओके सो दी बुक विल बी बेसिकली अवर पार्टीशन की बुक नेम विल बी अवर पार्टीशन की अवर प्राइमरी की एंड अलोंग विथ दैट इट माइट हैपन दैट विथ टाइम द कॉस्ट ऑफ द बुक और मे बी द फ्रंट पेज इमेज दिस काइंड ऑफ स्टफ मे बी कीप ऑन चेंजिंग ओके सो फॉर वन पर्टिकुलर बुक नेम देयर कैन बी मल्टीपल इंफॉर्मेशंस मल्टीपल रोस जनरेटेड ओके सो वी नीड टू पुट शॉर्ट की आल्सो सो शॉर्ट की वी आर पुटिंग व्हेन द स्टफ इज गेटिंग क्रिएटेड ओके सो दैट पर्टिकुलर वन आई विल बी शोइंग यू नो नीड टू वरी as of now you just understand that the sort key is created at at what time we are creating that okay that is our sort key so the latest data if you want to extract you can basically sort by created at and then you can take the latest information like that simply you can do okay that's pretty much it and then here what we are doing here we are defining our bucket name where basically the front page image related to book will be stored here our lambda function okay so we will be basically triggering this lambda via api in that api will be passing the actual image and all the information like book name author name book price okay book description if anything is there okay then here file name what is the file name of the image file what we are uploading okay then here body part what is the image body that we are putting here and then here what we are doing image body can be maybe suppose one png image you are uploading jpg image you are uploading different kind of image formats are there right so when you are storing that in s3 how we will be storing first we are basically splitting based on dot okay based on extension we are splitting suppose one particular image name is a dot jpg then what will happen if we apply split then here first value of the array will be a and the second will be jpg right like that then what we are doing we are taking the first element from this here see how i am generating taking the first element giving an underscore then adding one unique identifier okay using uuid for and then we are giving dot extension and whatever extension is there that a second array element we are putting that okay as simple as that so this becomes our key name how it will be stored in our st location okay and then here url path very important i have told you right that in s3 we will be putting our image file and that url will be putting in dynamodb table right so that url how we will be getting we will be getting that by first we will be putting the s3 endpoint and then bucket name basically s3 endpoint then slash bucket name slash key like that i'll be showing you no need to worry how it is working i will explain then here we are writing that particular body part in bucket with that particular key name and here we are writing the data in our dynamodb table as simple as that okay created at the sort key we are specifying when we are writing the data in dynamodb that is current time okay and then here we are writing the data is uploaded okay now you can add try catch block and do all this improvement i am not going to all those stuff so what i will do i will simply go to lambda and i will create a very simple lambda function okay so here i will go to lambda create function demo testing lambda show yd some name i am giving and python environment i am choosing i will simply create the function okay and then here what i will do i will just select this particular code which i will be sharing in the description box or in the comment section also so here our this code is there i'll just paste this code and i will deploy this okay so it is deployed i'll go to configuration general configuration i will edit the time i'll be putting this time out as 2 minute at least you can take up to any value up to 15 minutes and then trigger will be adding in the permission section i'll be going and i'll be adding s3 access and dynamodb access so that it will be facing no issue to write the data okay attach policy dynamo db full access and here is is the full access okay so we'll attach the policies that is done super and now what we will do we'll create our api okay i am going to create a very simple api you can create rest api not a problem but uh, i am going to use http api which is a latest version and very powerful also although little bit less options it's provide compared to our rest api but 
for our requirement it is perfectly fine so i'm going to use that one only so this is the lambda api name book data store some name i am giving i'll go to next so this is our resource for that's fine i will go to next and i will create that one okay that's pretty much it this is our info key url i'll copy that i will go to postman i'll paste this one okay i'll put a slash also we have to put the resource path also right i'll go to route section and i'll be copying the resource path okay right that is done and now we can test our lambda so i will just refresh this particular page once if i go to my s3 currently nothing is there you can see if i go to my dynamo db okay explore table items here also nothing is there okay right so here you can see the api gateway trigger is added now here what we need to do you can see here this all inputs you need to pass like book name what is the book name that we need to pass that here okay book name will be passing okay then here it is author okay these keys how to uh, use this kind of keys in post method i have already discussed so this is post method i think i have used any in the api gateway deployment let me just confirm so this is as of now any but you can specify to a post method that will be better because here we are posting that okay and then here book price i can put that book type whether what kind of data it is storing whether that is related to romantic book or world related information or some information or historical book geography related that kind of information you can write here and then last but not the least file name how it will be stored in our s3 okay file name i can put later let me first fill the main values book name demo one author unknown one some name i am giving just for the name sake book price 100 book type i can give historical file name i'll be putting first let me choose the body okay so here i want to upload the image right so binary data i'll be selecting so here i am having some binary files first let's upload this one so i will just select this one and here one.png okay so here i will go back to params and file name i can give demo one show dot png okay how it will be stored in our s3 okay right and let's make a same request and let's see whether it is working or not okay image uploaded successfully this way so let's see that so if i go to first s3 and refresh this particular place here you will see demo one show then dot png in between that one unique identifier is created so that all the names will be unique okay if i go to dynamodb and refresh this one here you will see demo one and then here url is generated because i made that particular s3 bucket public okay if i just go to this particular url and paste in a new tab and if i hit and enter here it will be downloaded see it is downloading right that's the beauty okay i hope you are getting that so let's see that so here you can see this is the image what we have uploaded okay now let me show you with second demo so what i will do i will maybe let let me just change select file to this image okay so the 2.png we are uploading suppose this is the book cover which is changed okay but all other informations are remaining same maybe uh, book price also let me change to 150 but rest all are same and let me make a same request see image uploaded successfully okay so if i go to our dynamodb table and if i refresh see the book name is same now created at because we enabled the sort key created at is there and book price 150 now how you can understand which is the latest which is having latest timestamp so see this is the latest one right 1733 it is 1732 it is older this is new one so if i just select this particular one and if i paste in this chrome okay here see this image is downloaded which is the latest image which is showing and if i go to s3 and if i refresh here you will see the another png file came okay right so basically you understood how we can use DynamoDB efficiently along with S3 
to store large objects okay so i will just now show you another example with jpg file okay so if i go to property section here you can see this particular capture file is having dot jpg extension okay so i will just select that capture okay capture dot jpg i will go to parameter in the file name i'll be putting demo with jpg dot jpg is the extension okay right we'll make a send request and see image uploaded successfully if i go back to s3 if i refresh here you will see that this is the jpg file is uploaded and if i go here you will see that demo one list all are same the latest timestamp is this one this is the jpg file which is uploaded now okay i can just show you let's download this one this is the file okay right so the thing is i hope you understood how you can basically use dynamodb along with s3 to put large binary objects this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you are not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you